Hey everyone, how's it going? This is the bald metal nerd coming at you with a brutally honest product and review. What's a brutally honest product review? Well, that is a product review where I bought something with my own money. I was not uh, compensated for my review. It was not provided to me for review. I just bought it with my own money. So you're going to get 100% honest opinion on this. And today we are going to be taking a look at the uh, Anchor Soundcore Life Q20 with some noise cancellation. Uh, these are $60 headphones, so fairly cheap for noise cancellation. Uh, what are they re replacing? Uh, they are replacing a nearly six-year-old pair of Osdom M06s. Uh, the reason for that is the batteries in these are basically dead. Uh, I only paid 30 some dollars for these about six years ago, so I'd say I got my money's worth out of them. Uh, <laughs> but... Uh, that's why I would never spend too much money on these Bluetooth headphones because essentially they're disposable because once the battery is no good, they're, they're kind of useless at that point. So anyway, let's take a quick look at the box here. Um, I paid $60 for these, by the way, on Amazon. There will be an affiliate link in the uh, description if you're curious. So anyway, here's the front of the box. Not too exciting. Side, back, read it on your own time. Got this dude on the side, bottom, top thrilling so what we're going to do is we're going to unbox it the only thing i've done to this so far is i took the plastic wrap off aside from that i have not looked inside this packaging yet so you'll get my real-time reaction of of this so bye-bye box it uh, looks like we got instruction book as well as uh, a bag so let's get this open Let's see what we got. Huh. All right, there's a bunch of a bunch of stuff in here. I'll look through it at some point, probably before I really review this thing. So uh, we got a nice bag. Eh, feels pretty good. I like it. You can tell it's inexpensive, but it still feels good. And then we've got uh, looks like here we've got the main event uh, and some other cables. So. Let's take a look at the cables it comes with first. Of course, we got our 3.5 millimeter cable to use this in standard headphone mode. Oh, I dropped the charging cable, and that is just a standard micro USB charge charging cable. Definitely nothing too exciting there. Too bad it's not USB-C, but I know there's a complaint made the similar complaints, and now we're going to take the headphones themselves out, and we're going to see how these feel. Uh... They feel, truthfully, um, okay. You know, they're definitely not the most stern. They're not, you know, the sturdiest headphones I've ever seen. In fact, truthfully, I would say ugh, they almost seem a bit worse than my older 30-some dollar headphones as far as sturdiness goes. These aren't, I wouldn't say these things are rock solid, but these are these are not great either, but... I don't know, they should hold up okay, I hope. So uh, let's get a close look in here. And we got controls on here. Looks like we got uh, noise canceling and power on this one. Uh, we got volume controls. And then, of course, on this ear cup, we've got the charging and the 3.5 millimeter pass through. So, pretty much what you would expect in this. So, yeah, pretty simple. I'm going to pause real quick, reposition, pair this to my phone, and we'll get some, uh, you know, initial out-of-the-box sound quality impressions. See you guys in a minute. Okay, folks, I've actually had a fair amount of time to actually live with these headphones. Sorry I didn't capture my out-of-the-box, um, you know, subject subjective uh, sound quality uh, take. But I can tell you, out-of-the-box... Um, I thought these sounded, you know, fairly decent overall. Nothing right home about, but definitely, quote, adequate. So, um, that's more or less how I felt about them, even after spending some time with them. But before I get into all of that, I'm going to talk about how I used these, how they performed, uh, et cetera, et cetera. I actually uh, fully charged these bad boys up, and I took these on vacation with me for a week, Okay. So, um, I actually used these headphones on one single charge, mind you, uh, for some, I don't know, a couple of, at least a couple of hours every day, uh, maybe two to three hours a day with noise canceling on. 
and uh, yeah, it never once warned me I was on a low battery or anything. It made it through the entire vacation. No trouble. Um, I even used it some uh, after I got home. I, um, you know, uh, cut the grass with it at least once, and I did a couple of other things. So um, even some use beyond that, beyond before I charged it again. Uh, and, uh, of course, I tested this extensively, uh, both in Bluetooth and wired modes, sound quality-wise. And sound quality on this, it's... It's mediocre at best. Um, it actually doesn't sound better than any of my other headphones. All my other headphones sound better than this. But listening to it, it's okay. Um, you know, it, it's definitely not offensively bad or anything, the sound quality. So um, there are a few features, of course, I do want to show off on this. And, uh, I mean, I already gave you a quick tour, but obviously there's just on off. There's noise canceling. Now, the most important, and of course, you got your volume up and volume down, which also acts as your, like, player controls, right? The, one of the most important buttons on this uh, device is you click this button twice. That turns your bass boost on and off. And truthfully, I think the bass boost on this is terrible. Um, I did not enjoy listening to any music whatsoever with the bass boost engaged on this headphone. Uh, because essentially what bass boost does is it boosts the bass and it, destroys a lot of the other frequencies right it just sounds terrible it's like bass is there but a lot of other stuff just gets pure purely scooped out so it sounds much better in quote normal mode than any sort of than the bass boosted mode um also uh there's a very large sound quality difference between having the noise canceling on or off uh, for pure sound quality wise um, having the noise canceling off is the preferred choice. It, the music will sound better if you have the noise canceling off uh, because you turn the noise canceling on. It's kind of a large muffling effect, for lack of a better term. But even with it on, it's still passable. At no point when, during my listening did I think, oh, any of this sounds awful. It, that wasn't the case. Um, and as far as comfort goes, um, I wore these things. Uh, I purposely tested these out for like an entire day a couple of times. And I didn't have any real significant comfort, comfort problems with them. Uh, you know, even when I was out in the hot sun doing um, chores outdoors. Uh, good rhyme. Uh, at no point did these really feel uncomfortable. So I, so I would say for comfort, comfort, they're pretty good. They're not definitely not the most comfortable headphones I have, but they're perfectly fine. They're not going to cause you any comfort issues. Um, sound quality, again, adequate. That's, that's my only description, adequate. It's definitely not hi-fi or great or anything but it's not bad it's 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 okay um now could i say these should be your only pair of headphones absolutely not um there's many many headphones out there uh that you can get that are going to offer better sound quality for than uh this one at not very expensive prices um if you want to hear something that's significantly better than this and is cheaper uh the mono price 8323s no, they're not Bluetooth, so that's kind of apples and oranges. They are just wired headphones, but those sound absolutely amazing. If you want to hear what a you know really cheap, good pair of headphones sounds like, get those. But overall, I am pleased with these, and I'm glad I bought them. Uh, the battery life does seem excellent on them. And as far as the durability goes, um, I'm more hopeful now than I was when I first took these out of the box. It seems to have held up really well, you know, going into a bag on my vacation and nothing... It's not even slightly damaged. Uh, it was, went in there with this laptop, a couple other things, and it, it did really well. So I'd say overall, I am very pleased with these headphones, and I do think they are a good value, uh, despite the sound quality just being kind of very meh, for lack of a better term. So anyway, that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you guys like this. Um, down below, I will, of course, have the affiliate link. If you are new to the channel, please consider looking around, maybe giving, you know, all that. So... Anyway, that's pretty much it. As always, live long and prosper. Keep on rocking. I'll see you guys soon.